Okay. Taking a closer look here. At what we're dealing with. We're going to press the claim of our husband. After. <laughs> oh, we're not actually going to have anyone become our tributary who we can force into vassalization. So we're going to look to Britain for more tributaries. And as we've established, they can't really help themselves. So we'll raise our troops. And see, already people have a high opinion of us and they will join. We shall not bother them. We shall, however, call this guy to arms. He has really nothing to contribute currently, but we'll still tell him to come. It's his queen who demands such. Right, let's have her lead here. Him lead on the flank where there's most cavalry. And Galib shall lead the center. Oh, great. My brother has done well. He has raised us some troops here who are willing to fight with us. Who can we imprison? Just end your plot, woman. Yes. And thus he joins our war. I'll take his troops any day. We'll just have to look out. Have our siege leader lead the siege. This guy on the flank. Our top mind. Ah, it's fine. We don't need to lead anything. We're not this prideful. Let's upgrade a little bit. There he comes. Killing the retinue of my husband. Whoops. Price of war, dear. Price of war. We shall restore us to our former glory. No questions about that. But for now we need to fight all the wars. As before. Ireland will see a lot of bloodshed over the next coming years. pregnant maybe it's a male heir maybe we're mixing everything up a little bit more after killing all these Jesus my father was a monster in his later years so let's have this be done um, we don't want our tributaries to be weak Ah, no, we don't care. We're not going to join his holy wars. He can lead those as himself. Doesn't need us for that. Let's raise a little bit more retinue. Which you can't. A son was born to my niece. But he is not of my dynasty. So who cares? I ask. Let's him be tr thrifty. Oh, an uprising. Actually. Let's call these guys to arms. They're right there to help. Not him. Let's 
wait for a second for possibly having armies join up. Let's see if everyone is in place. He leads the center. We lead this flank. And everything else is set up well. But we should have no trouble fighting these rebels. Rebels are generally really, really weak. There we go. We are marching over the plains when one of my officers mutters, Once I'm back in Ulmerheim, I'm giving the soldiering up life. Well, we have had this before, so... What do we do? Organizer? Direct leader leading the center or unyielding. I think... We're going to go with unyielding. Because she has suffered a lot already in her life. And yet... She still stands strong and proud. Which I think is remarkable. Good. Can't raise more retinue because we are already at the limit here. I didn't notice. We're building all we can. Let's create some more vassals, shall we? You guys are not going to be all that much of a difficulty, are you? Nope, not at all. Actually... Let's wait for the others to detach. Ah, no, we're not going to raid first, we're just going to attack. Where are we? He's not the weakest. So let us raid first. But leave our retinue. Ah, oh, nah. No. We take them. It's fine. We need a siege leader for this one, please. My queen, if you would. Well, myself, really, if I would. So we have one tributary, two tributaries. Let's check our incomes here. It's not great. Really isn't great. But we do not need gold all that much. Ah yes. Since my pregnancy is in full swing now, in the final month, my husband has been appointed my regent to take over the governance until I am fully back on my feet. Oh, hello there. We have gotten ourselves an heir, a male heir. And thus ends our regency and I think... Who should he be named after? His father, surely. Flythry. Definitely not the grandfather. He was a monster. Yes, let's adopt some ideas to improve the economy. Feels like a good step. And he shall be brought up as proud. Never forgetting the sins of his grandfather against the Irish. Right, let's bleed them try. Because they don't need it, but we do. Let's move our 2019 troops representing for the year. Stand them down. And have them enjoy their vassalization being forced on them. We need to switch this around a little bit. We want these over here. No, these we want over here. This guy gets these and these get this guy. 
just so we get the sieging bonus and it all goes a little bit quicker. But since we've taken care of all this already, it shouldn't take all that long. This will be a quick and easy war. Now this vassal is going to hate us. That's fine by us. We don't mind. We are Irish, not squeamish. We can live with a little bit of dissatisfaction in our subjects. There we go. Now what do you field? Not too little. Why do I stand down my troops all the time? It's just a reflex, honestly. I'm so used to it because if you leave your troops up after war, there's just too much stuff going wrong with that. So generally I try to not have these issues arise at all. But he could lead here. So we're going to soften them up. Take them out and after that without even we're going to give him a fair fight or a fair-ish fight whatever goes as fair these days in my lands which isn't all that much to be quite honest not to be fair because we are not all right so one nomadic tribe has decided to settle and thus a new realm is born interesting not really though <laughs> Um, with all the gold we have, let's let's go look for a smith, and let's see if we can't find a better weapon than what we already have. A son was born to my niece, who probably is not going to matter too much to us anyway. So we'll just leave it as it is. Very good. We have looted 5.15 gold. This time we're going to have our own smith take care of my request. Let's boost our own economy. Alright. Um, the castle blacksmith, more used to horseshoes and helmets than work fit for royalty, presented you with a dirty old box. Ta-da! He said nervously. It was a sword you wanted, uh, right? He adds. <laughs> let's look at this travesty he built us. Oh, let's have a look. Oh! The heavy male horse armor was put in here. Oh, look at this. Why is this red? Not equipped. Can't equip. Artifact is inactive. Well, this is the legendary armor of Glitterhoof. And this is the poorly crafted sword. Which you know exactly... I, I have an idea what we might be able to do with this. Let's see if we can't gift it to the Chinese. <laughs> um, no, we cannot, in fact, gift it to the Chinese. <laughs> oh, well, that's just a shame. But we may gift it to someone else at some point. Oh, boy. That's why you, that's why you don't go with Made in Ireland. That's what, what this label gets you, I tell you. Right, let's bleed them. Ah, they're going to hate us so much. Good, let's move out. Move them down a bit so they don't get jumped. Force some vassalization here. Let's have him come and our husband he may also come to our war because his opinion is not going to drop all that much no matter how much we call him up for these I don't actually know why why I'm calling these it's probably more a matter of because I can we don't need to 
That's what the softening up was for. He. He is going to get a real fight. Real fair fight. Okay. So we could usurp a title, which is the Petty Kingdom of Mead. We're definitely not going to do that. Because that would potentially splint our realm. We're going to do that if we can have two. Because then we can create a kingdom title and be safe. Right, okay. We lost a commander. I think it was our... I don't know. It wasn't our strongest commander, actually. It was the siege commander. It's all fine, though. We'll have this done in a moment. A saint has died. Okay. There's also a fairly new mechanic, sainted. Haven't really looked into this at all. So let's go ahead, press our claim here. And for this one, we're calling them all. Actually, we don't have to do this. Them we can just call like this. And we need to raise our own troops again. Down here in the south. Most people join. Including our English friend over there. Not that we need it. So let's fight. We're even going to take the disadvantage for him. Aren't we nice? Alright, we're not going to siege his land. We're going to siege what this war is about. Because this gives much more points toward the war score down here. Which we're definitely looking for. I can also see I don't slow down the wars anymore because the wars I'm picking are easily won. There's really not much danger here. The chances of something going wrong are very, very slim. So all this is quite fine. Quite fine. He's a Norseman, isn't he? No, he's Irish. But he is a heretic, so we might go in a holy war against him. Probably up next in this war, war, war. After I had made another courtier cry, the third one in a short week, I felt a bit embarrassed. Is it really who I am? A cruel woman who likes to hurt people? Who am I kidding? I love this! Become cruel, which is great for fighting, not so great for everything else. Or we might become kind, which, well, yeah. Oh, the Lord, forgive. What have I done? We weren't becoming either, apparently. Well, we didn't become kind, so there's that. Who needs education? A girl that doesn't mean anything to us. Right, let's um, put him back on track because he is getting some weird ideas over there. What he can and cannot do in my land. Feels like he has forgotten where we are at here, and what's happening, and why. So let's check our council. Things are looking up already a little bit. Chief Fernat of Dublin has been viciously slandering me, my nephew. Do we care? Well, let's tell him he better stay out of factions. Which is over here, by the way. And you can see there are a few factions going on. And once they become a threat, having about 70% power of you, there's going to be a warning. And they are looking to really replace me with various people. Such as my twin. Who...
well, the better opinion people have of us, the less likely they're going to be joining factions like that. But with the tributaries that we have established, we're pretty much rock solid. Our husband is a great alliance currently. So all is well. Can't really go in another war. Let's see if we can't declare war against him. Holy war for this. And, um, yeah. It's definitely what we're going to do. He's not going to be able to resist. But we are making great strides toward uniting Ireland. So, we'll take this. Why can't we go in a holy war? Because he has... And see, they like this. They like fighting heretics. So they all gonna come. And of course we're going to have our tributaries come. Because that's their job. Fighting my wars. That is definitely their job. It says so right there in the job description. But everyone is going to join because this... This against heretics... That is a war worth fighting for every Irish man. I'm not going to give them any orders this time. We'll just let them do their thing. And go siege ourselves somewhere. Actually, let's let's set some orders. So we have some sieging here. Everyone sieging somewhere. Right. So he's doing something over there while we take everything, as he does. Look at that, raising a few troops there. Oh, he even killed two men. Well, they are Irish after all, even though they are heretical and monsters, <laughs> therefore. But I think we came just in time because there's some big enemy army moving around here who probably have some beef with him as well let's actually check yeah is it war with these guys but he's attacking so if he lost he wouldn't lose any territory he's just gonna lose territory because of me and we're almost done once this siege is through there we go yeah you can have peace my friend Good. Alright, everything you gain in a holy war goes, unless it has someone who's going to be a vassal then, is going to be directly yours. I'm not going to give any of this up. Okay, so some new interesting choices have popped up here. We can create two duchy titles, which costs us some money. We can usurp one duchy title, which would give us enough to if we check here found a new kingdom because well actually no we need we need a 10,000 prestige before we can uh, not sorry 1,000 prestige before we can attempt this so we're not gonna for now we'll just live with how it is and we're not going to create any of those titles definitely not Okay, we have some bishoprics we shouldn't hold. Let's see if we can't give those to someone who likes us already. Oh yeah, let's let's have him become one of our bishops. He's a learned man. And he is friendly toward us. So we might actually get some taxes out of him. Let's check who else do we have? Anyone? Oh yeah, he's our court chaplain. Let's let's give him. I mean, he's already some sort of holy man. It looks like so, some search church type person. So let's have him be. This as well. All right. Let's see if we have any strong vessels that should be something, but are not something. Ooh, he is interesting. 
But we can't appoint him as this. As Oh, sorry, I wanted this. Let's him be the spy master. Our, our husband can be something else because he's really good at this. Christ. Okay, so let's have... Him be our steward. Because why not? Let's have him build our legend. And he can go research in the Byzantines and maybe die while he does it. All right. Good. Anyone else? Well, my husband is not going to be happy now. Ah, it's, it's fine. He understands. He loves me because I pressed his claim. All right, so a defensive pact has been formed against me. Meaning that anyone part of this defensive pact, which is just one this guy here, which is this guy, is going to help each other in case I declare war against one of the members of the defensive pact. This sometimes happens if you grow too quickly, too large. Oh wow, he did so great. Immediately got us 50 research points for, I think, military advances it is. Oh, that's really good. That's really, really good. So we could have more retinue now, because we have got more counties again, which are ours, our direct control. Honestly, there's something about these orders, which is interesting, which we're going to look into, because now we have an heir, we have several heirs, our succession is secure. We don't want to splinter the realm again, so we might want to go and become chaste, which is something we can do in one of these orders, which we're going to look in. Right after this.